Hi everyone, this time I will show you how to crochet such a hat. For this tutorial I'm using three different yarn balls with a different color. I have three markers and a crochet hook, size 3 mm. I'm starting with a magic loop and to do this we create a circle. And then I take the hook, insert the hook into the circle, grab the yarn and pull it through, then pull it up and you have something like a loop here. And I will secure it with a, with a chain stitch, so yarn over and pull the yarn through here and tighten it a little bit. But do not close the circle, it should be still open. So now we crochet six single crochets into this circle. Insert your hook in the into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it through the circle and pull it up. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. This creates a single crochet. We need five more. Insert your hook into the circle. Grab the yarn, pull it through and pull it up. You have two loops. Grab the yarn and pull it through both loops. This is the second single crochet. So we need four more. Third, fourth, whoops. Then the fifth. And the sixth one. Why do we need six single crochets? Uh, we, we need them because we have three different colors and you can divide the number six by three and it, it fits very good. So if you have your six single crochets then you can pull, pull the short strand and this will close the circle like this. Okay, now we can start crocheting in the round. First I will put here a marker that will tell me when my round is finished or where to finish the round. And now we have to increase and we have round one that tells me or uh, that means that we have to increase every stitch. We will start with a single crochet. So first insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. This is a single crochet. Now we will increase. We crochet one more stitch into the same stitch, but the next one will be a half double crochet. For this yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull the yarn through the stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull the yarn through all three stitches, three loops. This is a half double crochet. We had here an increase. The next stitch will be also an increase and we will crochet two double crochets into this stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over again, pull the yarn through the first two loops. We have two left, yarn over, pull it through the last two. This is a double crochet. Once more into the same stitch to increase, yarn over, insert your hook, pull the yarn through, you have three loops on your hook, pull through two, pull through two. It's okay. Now we're done with the white color. 
I will put here a marker and then we will grab whoops no nope. okay so I will put the white yarn here and we will, we will grab the next color uh, here okay then make a really big loop because we need our hook for the next color otherwise you have to have three hooks and it is not comfortable <laughs> so a big loop is better then insert your hook into the next stitch here okay and grab the next color then pull the yarn through the stitch and secure it with a chain stitch and I take both strands for this for securing like this okay so we will have to increase here again and we will crochet a half double crochet into the same stitch I'll take the long strand for this so yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over again and pull through all three loops this is a half double crochet the next stitch is also an increase and we have to crochet two double crochets into the same stitch yarn over and crochet two double crochets in here into the same stitch Okay, now we are also we are also done with the orange color. Make a big loop and insert the marker here at the last stitch we made. Here. Okay. I, I will I will turn my work and also turn my yarn that it does not twist. Now we have to take the next color. Maybe it seems a little bit difficult, but it, it is not really. It's really not. It's a lot of mess, but but you will see it's quite easy. Okay, so insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab the new yarn. And then pull it through the stitch and secure it with a chain stitch and with both strands. Okay, then we crochet a half double crochet into the same stitch because we are increasing. Half double crochet to the same stitch and now two double crochets into the next stitch here first double crochet and the second into the same stitch okay so we have here a marker and we will transfer it to the next level so we crochet we crocheted this one and this is also the same stitch only on the next round okay so this is the first round so this is how it looks like and the next one will be the second round and the second round this tells me that we have to increase every second stitch I will continue with the red one because we have here still stitches left remember we have the second round now increase every second stitch so and don't forget from this point on forget single crochets and half double crochets 
We will only crochet with double crochets from now on. So, increasing every second stitch. So the first one will be a double crochet. Now increase in this second stitch two double crochets into the next stitch. One double crochet. Whoops. And the second into the same stitch. Okay. Here we have two stitches left. The first one will be a double crochet and the second stitch an increase. One double crochet and the second into the same stitch. Okay, we have here in this stitch a marker again and we will transfer it to the next level. Okay, dokie. So now we have no white stitches anymore, so we can't crochet with the with the red yarn and we will switch to the white because this is the next. Okay, I'm moving my yarn balls. <laughs> okay, we take the next color. We are in the second round. We have to increase every second stitch. So, the first stitch, one single crochet. Second one and increase, one double crochet and the second in the same stitch. We have here two stitches left, one double crochet, and in the next stitch two double crochets. Now we transfer our marker. Yeah, and this is how it works. So you continue now with the orange color. You're still in the second round, so you will increase every second stitch until this marker. From this marker on you have the third round, then you have to increase every third stitch. Don't forget to move the markers, otherwise you won't know where to increase in which stitch. And that's all. You switch all the time the colors and you crochet what your markers tell you. If you don't know which, uh, which round this one is, maybe you can write it down or so. I don't know if you maybe pick up your, your work uh, a day later it's better to know. Yeah, and then you have to crochet it until you have the size for your head. So I need, I need for my head 54 centimeters. So something like this. And if my head size is 54 centimeters. I recommend to crochet a head with 55 centimeter. So crochet until you have this size. Yeah, this is flexible. You can put it on your work and then you see it immediately if you, if you have enough, if it's long enough or not. And then I will show you how to how to crochet without increasing. 
So this is how it looks so far and this one will be a very small hat for for a doll or something like this and if if uh, this is long enough for your hat then you can start crocheting in first around without increasing so you don't have to count and you don't need any uh, the markers anymore you only have to crochet uh, in, in, in spiral rounds and to switch the colors and then you will get the length of your of your head and you will stop if the length is or if the head is long enough so you can put it on your head and have a look and here you can see this one has already this shape like like a head but if you like to have uh, a flat one, so that you have a flat circle, then you have to increase uh, to increase more often. That means that you have to increase every stitch the first and the second round. And in the third round, you start increasing in every second stitch. And the fourth round will be also increasing in every second stitch. And then in the fifth round you start with increasing every third stitch and so on. Then you will get uh, a flat one. So now we will continue crocheting um, without increasing and then we will, get, we will get our length for the head. And then I will show you how to finish the work. So this is how my head looks so far. And if you want to finish your work you have to make sure that the length of each color is the same. So you should end at the point with the color where, where the length is the same. And to finish your work, we will start with a half double crochet in the next stitch. So a half double crochet, then a single crochet and then the last one a slip stitch. So insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through all the loops. Then you can cut the yarn, pull the yarn, whoops, pull the yarn through the last stitch and tighten. So, and you will do this with all the three colors. Um, then you have a finished head or you can continue only with one color to have an edging. So you will have here a half double crochet and a single crochet and then you continue some, some rounds, some, some rounds with the single crochets and then you can do the last stitch with a slip stitch and cut the yarn.